Hello everyone, I'm Neil McGovern. I'm the IBM sales leader for IBM Flash System. I've just been to the supermarket with my daughter and on the way back in the car, she threw me a bit of a curveball. She said, hey, keep overhearing you on your conference calls and you keep talking about IBM Flash System. So what makes it so great compared to other suppliers, other vendors? Well, tricky. Uh, how do I explain this to a teenager? Luckily, just back from the shop, so I've got some props to help me. So firstly, when we think about a storage array, we think about two main components. First, there's the drives. Let's use these cameras here. There we are, the flash drives. This is where the data sits. Now, most vendors use off-the-shelf generic drives. And these are great, but they are dumb. All they do is store the data. They don't have a brain, so for that, you need a second element, uh, a controller, a massive, expensive, power-hungry processing unit to sit on top and tell the drives what to do, including managing all that important stuff like encryption and data reduction tasks. These massive controllers have a tremendous amount of work to do and they can easily get overwhelmed. For example, they often have to park up important tasks like encryption and data reduction until off-peak times uh, so they can deal with them then. It's not a great idea to delay really important tasks like that. There's another problem. If you need to add more capacity, which normally has to be done in batches, like 10 or 20, okay, as you add more capacity, the controller has even more work to do and that will impact performance. And eventually, performance will get so bad that you have to add another very expensive power hungry controller. Now IBM takes a different approach. IBM doesn't use off the shelf generic drives. IBM invested and innovated to develop its own smart drives called flash core modules or FCMs. Now on their fourth generation with millions in use worldwide. These guys are genius. Firstly, these IBM drives offer incredible density per unit compared to most standard drives. So they fit the same amount of data in around half the physical space, saving valuable floor space and valuable money. Secondly, they have a really special feature, a brain. Let's try this chalky biscuits here. So each of these SCMs has a special low power mini supercomputer right inside its own turbo mini brain. This means IBM arrays don't need massive, expensive controllers to do the same work, just a small nimble one. How about one like this? There we are, a small nimble one. Together, this saves up to 40% in power costs while achieving more than two times the performance. With a mini supercomputer in each drive, tasks like encryption and compression are done spread out across the array and they're done real time without delay or without hitting overall system performance and they don't require extra space to park up tasks till later. So when it, and when it comes to adding capacity, you can add just a single one or more and when you add capacity, the drive comes along with its own mini supercomputer, also adding compute power one for one to maintain overall system performance. Finally, I've saved the best for last. Those mini supercomputers on each drive really work their magic when it comes to ransomware threat detection. These guys analyze every single input and every single read and write of data using AI to compare over 40 different ransomware patterns and statistics and then report back any anomalies every two seconds. And this is all done real time in line with zero impact to performance. So when a threat is detected, some of these little Lego stormtroopers, either a new threat or a, something that's been inside the data and been dormant and come alive, the system can automatically alert clients and integrate that alert into their event management system. So and they can, from the event management system, they can automate responses to deal with that threat. So the quicker you detect the threat, the quicker you can act. The, qu the quicker you act, the less data that's impacted and the quicker you recover from it, minimizing the overall impact to your business. 
So the difference between other vendors and IBM Flash System is the difference between slow and dumb versus fast and smart. Smart density to save you space, smart processes to save you power, smart processing to protect that performance, and genius AI to protect your valuable data. So why risk slow and dumb when you can have fast and smart, especially at a far lower total cost of ownership? Thanks very much for listening. So how did I do? Good. Do you see now how Flash System pays for your education? Good. 